Hey guys, SudoTech here, welcome back to the channel. Today is another Linux from scratch episode, episode 5 I think to be exact, and today we're going to be finishing up the packages required to do a temporary system. We're going to get all the way from gzip to xz, and then from there there's some pretty simple steps just to finish up the temporary system, which we'll do in the next video, and in the next video we're going to cover that in addition to a bunch of the stuff of the next chapter. We'll get into the actual video in just a moment, but I'd like to mention that I do have a Twitter at underscore pseudotech, so be sure to check that out because when this video goes live, I may or may not be posting a few polls to see some things about the further episodes of Linux from scratch, like stuff. You'll see when you watch this video, and if you have it, head over to my Twitter at underscore pseudotech. That said, let's get right into it. Our first package is gzip which, like a lot of the packages in the previous video and pretty much all of the ones in this video, is pretty simple and quick to install at 0.1 SBUs. Go ahead and unpack the tarball, change the directory, and then prepare it for compilation by just setting the prefix to tools so that it installs there. Use make, then make check, checking for errors, then make install, and then finally you can go back and delete the original folder that was created by unpacking the tarball because it's no longer necessary and everything else is now in tools. Also, I'm going to be using make-j4, which I've explained plenty times before. Feel free to use it if you get errors again. Don't use it, just try it without, but I'm going to do it for both of these, even though it won't make quite as much of a difference on these smaller packages. Next we have m4, which we're going to do in pretty much the same way. Unpack the tarball, change that directory, configure it, make, make check, and this is where I had an error. So as I said in the last video, I'm going to be giving you a solution that worked for me to this error, and that was actually to just upgrade the package I had for M4. So if you want to head back to the Packages section of the Linux from Scratch book, it'll have an entire list of all the required packages with links to their download locations. So I went ahead and opened that link in a new tab, and then just went to kind of the nearest root directory I could find that would show all the versions. It worked out perfectly, and I was able to find the M4, just a slightly newer version of it, which actually had a patch installed that seemed to fix this issue that I had. I still have two errors, but it seems like it fixed them because it says that it was relinking, which was the error. So I'm going to let those fly and hopefully we'll be good to go. I'm going to have this issue a little bit later in the same video and we're going to do pretty much the same solution. Make is a package that you all should be pretty familiar with since we use it in every time we make a package. And it's actually pretty simple to install. Go ahead and unpack it, change the directory, run the process for compilation, which is slightly different than the other ones, so don't just use the same script from the other ones. Make it, make check it, and make install it. I didn't have any issues on this, so we should be good to go. Remember to delete the original folder that was created from unpacking the tarball just to save disk space. Patch, as you can probably guess, is used to apply a patch file. Has the same installation as a lot of other packages. Go ahead and unpack it, change the directory, prepare for compilation, make, make check, and make install. Perl is slightly different, and Perl is a language, in case you were wondering. So go ahead and unpack it, then change the directory, and then we're going to prepare it for compilation, and then build it. And we're not going to use make test, because it's better just to wait until the next chapter, and make install isn't really necessary since we only need a couple of the packages, so go ahead and run the commands in the Linux from scratch book, and that'll just copy certain aspects of it over to the tools directory for use. Sed, or sed, not really sure how you're supposed to say it, either way it contains a stream editor, Pretty simple to install, unpack it, change the directory, run pretty much the same configuration that we've done for everything else, make it, make check it, and make install it. I should note that make check is not actually required, but I'm just going to do it as standard practice because if we hadn't done it on things like M4, I wouldn't have caught that error and that could cause issues later on. So it's better just to take care of it now and make sure everything's good to go. Tar has the exact same process and we use it every program also, so you should know what it does. It's for archiving. Unpack it, change the directory, prepare it for compilation, make, make check, and finally, make install. Same thing with textinfo, which contains a whole bunch of useful packages that do a bunch of cool stuff on the operating system. Go ahead and unpack it, change the directory, prepare it for compilation, make it, make check it, and make install it. Util Linux is definitely one of the more exciting programs because it's a bit different than all the others, but it is one of the ones where I got an error. Go ahead and see for yourself how it works by unpacking it, changing it to the directory, preparing it for compilation, and then try and make and make install just kind of experimentally. It spat out a bunch of warning messages for me which didn't look pretty so I decided to look into it. To see if it worked, I did pretty much the same thing that I did with M4. 
go back to the Linux from scratch book section that has the packages, go to the URL, find kind of a root directory that has a list of them. For me, it was in a subdirectory, so you might have to filter by the different version. Just go with the latest, find the .tar.xz file, and put it into your sources directory, either by wget or by some other method. Then you can go through the process that the book tells. Again, pretty much the same thing, just unpack it, go to the directory, prepare it, make, and make install. I still had two warnings, but both of them seem to have solved themselves since they mentioned creating a link, which seems like that was the issue, and there were a lot less. So I'm gonna go with this for now, and we'll see if it works. And wow, this video was fast. We're finally onto our last package, which is XZ. Only at 0.2 SPUs, we're almost all the way there. Go ahead and unpack it, change to the directory, prepare for compilation, pretty standard, make it, make check it, and make install it. Don't forget to go ahead and delete the unpacked tarball when you're all done with it. We're going to do a few more things like changing ownership and stripping it to get it a little bit smaller, which is always a good thing, especially for compact systems. But we'll take care of that in the next video and get through a lot of the next part of the next chapter in the next video as well. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on this video so that other people can find it and make their own operating system. But that's pretty much all I have for you today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.